What's up guys, Express Design here and I'm here back with another tutorial. Now this time I've uh, let my Discord choose what next tutorial would be and if you want the chance to what you want to see in the next tutorial make sure to join my Discord and I sent uh, my Discord four banners that they can choose of and they chosen this banner from the recent anime uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, I have no idea if that pronounced that correctly or not but it's a popular anime and it's pretty good not gonna lie I really enjoyed it, um, so that's why I made a banner for myself, a custom one. I'm gonna show you how I made that. So I'm gonna simplify uh, a couple of things for you guys, but anyways, uh, let's start with the project. Now the size is gonna be uh, 3,000 on a thousand. Normally I pick 1,500 on 500, but this time I thought maybe we we spice things up um, with some better resolution. 300 of course so uh, 3000 on a thousand pixels jump into that you have a nice little twitter header size uh, i'm going to start with the font uh, the font i'm just going to type uh, express again so you take go make it a bit bigger let me show you the font i don't think this font was free but you have the free option for uh, personal use only yeah here it is metric personal use only so that's what i've used i'll put a link in the description so you guys can download it so don't worry if you guys will <laughs> if you guys gonna spam the comments with where is the font anyways i made the x a bit bigger so like that so the x pops out or you can guys do that with your own name uh, put it in the middle now the first thing i did is uh, double click on the text layer and now the thing i did is a, uh, a stroke a white stroke of course you can't you can't see it now but you'll see it then I put just a color overlay of an orange but you can choose whatever color you would like and then I put a in the shadow uh, of black of course made the size around something like that and the opacity a bit less around 45 something like that there you go I'm going to make sure the background is a different color so you can see the white stroke I'm working with there you go now then I duplicated that layer, double clicked on the bottom layer, removed the stroke, removed the other shadow and went to color overlay and changed the color to a dark orange. If you want the same color just copy this code, there you go. And then I just with the arrow keys I moved the layer a bit down, you can see it's going a bit down like that. That's what I did and now we just making a new layer between those two layers go to your polygon tool or lasso tool or pen tool whatever floats your boat take the same color you made so that dark orange dark brown and we are going to do what we always do with 3d text going to fill in this little space these little edges so it's filled in and it looks 3d so we see the edge like this fill that in select it first and then fill it in with all backspace or with your bucket tool whatever uh, is what uh, i always do all backspace is just easier in my opinion it's a little shortcut that makes your life a little bit easier just fill that in there you go so that's about it i think i filled everything up all the edges yeah there you go so just merge um the bottom layer so this one and the layer you just made by ctrl e and selecting both of them there you go then i just did a simple brush effect so make a new layer put a clipping mask on the bottom layer make a darker brown like that take a brush not as big as i have now like 200 something like that and just color in the bottom like that I'm going to put the opacity a bit down like that but that's basically it that i did with that um then the next thing i did is, uh so i'm i think i merged those two layers those three layers and then put another stroke on that i think a white stroke uh no no white stroke. i think more black did i put a stroke on that I don't, i'm not sure i think something like that maybe gray i like put a one on that something like that there you go that's your basic uh text right there uh so now you of course have to get some pictures of the anime you like and uh, rasterize the layers of course and i'm going to work with this uh, i'm just gonna cut this watermark out but anyways, uh, just position this uh, in a way you like. I'm not sure where I... You put like the text on top. And we'll have this as well. I like this image a lot. Uh, we put this in... Do we put it like that? I don't think we can put it like that. So it's replaced by the other one. 
like the head is completely similar you can't even see that there you go uh, I'm going to put a gradient map on top of just a black and white gradient that's not black and white this is black and white on top of the images uh, I think both of them yeah both of them is the best option there you go nice little image for you guys uh, nice little green map on top of them uh, just make green map clipping mask I uh, press alt now it's just by now I guess um, then I just uh, copied my text to play that by ctrl J put it above everything to the, uh, remove the opacity put the stroke uh, on the orange color and make the size about uh, two uh, something like that and make it a bit bigger like so so i duplicated the text again made it a bit bigger like so and i also put a black and white gradient map on top of that like so and then i between those two layers i made a new layer took a, uh, i've taken a brush and then just a black uh, stroke and put your pasty bit down like that there you go and that's really the basic text uh, that we made so far anyways um now it's going for the background uh i also would recommend um the logo of the anime of course so logo png um just look that up in google save the image as a png and put it in your document and you can see um it's there put it below everything except the except this image i guess if you read and then just um, go to the blending options and I think I put it on lightened so the inside is gone uh, put the opacity around 24 11 something like that like that there you go Hit a little uh, stroke on top so make a new layer above everything uh, take your um, rectangular tool and fill that in with a orange like that there you go you have a little stroke on top uh, then I've literally taken the same image uh, this image made it a lot bigger so like so I went to filter gallery let's go to filter gallery and then I went to I went to note paper see like you have this little effect um, that it just two colors it's like a gradient but it's like different than a gradient uh, put the image balance on 23 grain on 4 and the leaf on 0 there you go like that and then I put the layer style on a on a uh, liner uh, burn or color burn or multiply one of those I guess a liner burn and put the opacity a bit down there you go like you have this little effect going on in the background this um, like spike or like nail uh, going on I just cut this out of this image um, it's a nice image look line but it not really fits the style of the banner in my opinion just uh, just cut this uh, just cut this out with the select tool all around like that so right click layer via cut remove the other image there you go and then I'm going to make it a bit bigger and put it through the P of Express like so and then I take your brush tool make it a lot smaller and just remove this part I'm going to make it a lot a, bit, a lot smaller there you go just remove this with the brush so it goes in the P and then out the P. There you go. And now make a new layer, clipping mask on this little nail. Take your brush, take your black brush, just put a bit too big and just take a brush like that, put your opacity bit down. So it has a little um, shadow from the P. There you go. That's what I did there. Then I have a little like star effect going on, like an anime star. How you look that up is just anime star, I guess. PNG. Uh, it's like a iconic uh, anime style it's just it's like the first image you come uh, across it's this image and I just um, made a new layer uh, taken my pen tool and just went over it with my pen tool and that's literally the star that I made um, there you go and just fill that in with a white delete path I remove that image and I just made a uh, like a bit smaller 
There you go. And then put that on the X. Also made a copy of that. So Control J. I have turned that around a bit. And then put that on the X somewhere. And I made another one. Made it a lot bigger. And then just put that in the corner somewhere. There you go. That's literally what I did. Um, there you go. That's basically the basics of what I did. Also put some uh, circles in the background. So just take your elliptic tool uh, and just make a circle in the middle. Like that. Just hold Alt and Shift to make sure it's a nice circle and not like a weird circle. There you go. Fill that in with Alt Backspace or the Bucket tool. Make it a bit bigger. There, there, there you go. Put it somewhere around there. Double click on the layer. Remove the fill opacity and put a stroke on there. Um, put the stroke in the inside in my opinion. Take a color, I'm going to take this dark uh, orange or dark brown, put it more down. Uh, just right click on it and make rasterize layer style. And then I put the opacity or like the layer style on um, hue. There you go. Made a new layer, I guess, below the text. Um, a big brush around 400 uh, with the orange and maybe a bit bigger. like around 500 yeah 500 and just put some couple of dots everywhere in the background there you go then i put the layer style on lighten put your opacity a bit down was the screen it's lightener screen oh it's lighten. put your opacity a bit down then i did another brush way bigger like a thousand eight hundred black and then just the bottom i fill that in with a bit of black and also this side with a bit of black. Also put the opacity a bit down. Made a new layer. Make a new layer. Take this uh, dark uh, red. And also at the side I put a bit of red. They go also put it on lighten. Put the opacity a bit down. That's it. Now make a new layer above everything. There you go. Take your brush again with white. And just make a little dab on top. Also put the opacity a bit down. And there we kind of have it. I'm just going to do some uh, brightness and uh, contrast. Uh, just click on this little circle. Uh, put the contrast a bit up and the brightness a bit less. Go to Vibrance as well. Put that a bit up. There you go. You can also go to Hue and Saturation and change the color of your banner to anything that you like. Select everything. So select the first layer. Scroll all the way down. Hold in Shift. Select the bottom layer. Ctrl J and Ctrl E everything. So you duplicate everything and then you merge everything then take your uh, rectangle select tool select everything right click layer via cut delete the other layer then copy the other layer again so you ha make you have sure that you have a layer and you make sure that you have another layer uh, so if you don't like your edit that you can always go back to that specific layer anyways we go to filter gallery again that's not really it we go to filter gallery again uh, this time we'll go to uh, the first one, artistic, I guess. No, you know, we don't. We go to brush strokes and then uh, angled brush strokes, like that, I think. And then we put that on stroke length, on like a six, and then sharpness, on like a two, and then drag the balance at sixty-two. There you go, and then just put the opacity a bit down. And then you have a little artistic. Um, just going to remove a couple of parts of the text. There you go. Uh, merge those two layers, of course, um, by Ctrl E and then Ctrl J again. Filter, camera, raw, filter. And now we're just going to change the color a bit and make it a bit more spicy, I guess. I don't know. Put the uh, temperature a bit higher. Uh, put the ex exposure a bit higher as well, not too much. And then the contrast uh, around 11. Put the, put the highlights, I, I don't know. Put the shadows a bit down, put the whites a bit up, and the blacks also a bit down. Now put the clarity also a bit up, but not too much, like around the 9. Adjustments, hue and saturation and luminosity. Uh, make the orange a bit more orangey. There you go. Put the saturation and put the orange a bit more up also. Go to luminosity and also put the orange a bit darker. 
There you go. <clears throat> there we go to the um, last one, calibration primary, and you can change that to a nice color. There you go. We also do uh, press first press OK. There you go, and you have a, a total different um, panel already. Merge those two layers again. Control J them again. Go to filter camera roll filter again and go to presets and look for a nice preset. You don't always have to, but there's some nice presets in my opinion that you always can spice up your banner in some way or another. Maybe vintage, press OK on vintage. Put the opacity bit down. Merge the two layers. Now, we're going to the final touches. We're gonna blur the sides. So to go to filter, blur, caution blur. Make sure you duplicated your layer. Put the blur around 3.6. Take a brush, make it a bit bigger and then just remove the insides and the character. There you go. So the sides are blurred, but the most important part are still visible. Merge those two layers, copy them again, go to filter, uh, noise, add noise. Around 2.9 noise is good enough. And then you have a little noise uh, effect going on. Merge those two layers again, Control J them again. There's a lot of work I know. Go to the RGB channels, uh, remove the G and the B. So you only have the R, the red, and move the upper layer a bit to the right or to the left and you have a little glitch effect and that is always nice for a couple of banners and there you go there you have it there you have your banner uh, I, I guess this is a nice banner it's really the textile is really nice so I guess this is quite nice banner um, in my opinion you can uh, add things edit things don't just copy this <laughs> tutorial uh, make your take your own um, anime, take your own pictures, do whatever you want. Edit maybe the style bit uh, of the text, and uh, I guess I see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this anime tutorial banner. It's been a month since the previous one, so I thought let's freshen this back up and make this awesome anime banner. Uh, next time I'll maybe do an 80 style um, text tutorial because I recently made a new. Uh, wallpaper uh, for my desktop or my PC and I really enjoyed making that so I'm maybe making a tutorial of that follow me on Twitter I am going to post uh, on that uh, way more and uh, nowadays and uh, yeah I see you guys in the next one